We're out here in the plots where we're using a new 360 technology. Where we're coming in and we're adding water once a week. And in this case, in this plot, we're adding three tenths of an inch each week. And every time as we apply water, we're adding nitrogen. So today, we're here in a plot on a line of 48,000 plants. Right next to us where we're not watering, we have 36,000 plants. And so we're in some pretty light soils. These soils are pretty light CEC. They run about 11 CEC, and it's a corn on corn field. So early on, there was a considerable amount of stress in here in the last three weeks as we've been in the 90s a lot. And in this case, over on the dry land, it didn't have a lot of water until just within the last five days. We've had two eight-tenths rain. So as we look here, though, at 48,000 plants in a 30-inch row, I get pretty excited when we think about this technology coming here, just like we do in nitrogen of Y-drop, now we're using a bigger hose and we're adding water in a 10-inch strip. And you think about a root system and that ball of a root plant, we're putting water in a band right over the top of the most critical part of a plant. So now 100% usage. We're going to become much more efficient. So instead of like an irrigation would water 100% of the soil, we're watering no more than about 40% of the total row width. So when I talk about a third of an inch is going on here today, in reality, we can double it. So I get excited thinking about what is this plant telling us? And how is this root feeding? You look at the different whiteness in this plant and these roots, and it is still telling us this is a story of health. And the outcome is really exciting. So here we are at R1. We're heavy in the pollen. And you can see the pollen flying here behind me. And you can see we got all kinds of silks. In this case, it's a little crazy. This hybrid is wanting to put two ears on, even at 48,000. Due to the fact we've been able to put this kind of nutrient and water to it. And when I look at the bottom, it tells the story. Look right here, I just pulled it off. Here's a sucker on that particular plant. And I look at, the, you know, at these particular leaves, and I get pretty excited at R1. At this stage of the game, we're in pollination. We got this kind of plant health even low down. Granted, when we take our knife and we split a plant, we're going to find this plant's been pretty much depleted. So we understand as this plant's growing, it's loading all the Walmart shelves. And so every node, it's packing nutrients, sugar, and energy for the exactly at this time. So when it knows it's going to start putting on this ear, it's going to start to work hard. And so this is the most critical time for nitrogen and as low amount of stress as possible. And so as I look here at what we're doing, I get pretty excited when I see this kind of an ear at this stage. And just by looking at him, I can tell you he's at least 16. I was counting here last night, they're 16 and 18. And we got a 47,000 ear count on a field with light soil of corn on corn. So for me, it's all about eliminating stress and keeping this plant happy each and every day. If we come in here and we measure where this particular ear is sitting on the plant, in this case, this is a Whiffles variety. And over here where we've been watering once a week with the new 360 technology of banding water and nutrients, we have ears sitting at a 55 inch average. When we go over here about three, four rows into the dry strip where we have not been watering only Mother Nature, they're sitting at 44 inches. So we've got 11 inch difference in plant height. Now true, this higher population will get a little bit taller, but it's a really good indication of the kind of stress that we're taking and eliminating. So I get pretty excited when I think about we have 16 around by 36 long at 47,000 realizing that our normal population in this field would normally be planted at 36, hoping for 34 to 35,000 ears. So we're going to step over about five rows to the west. We'll be in where there's no water been added each week, only what nature has. And we'll take a look at what kind of stress we're carrying there at 12,000 less ears. Now that we moved over about five rows into the dry band, you can see we have the same exact corn planted at a different population. 
Over where we're irrigating with the new 360 technology, we dropped 48,000. Over here, we dropped 36,000 with a 35,000 ear count. But at the same time, as we start to look at the base of these plants, and we can start to see that the plant health is somewhat different. It's not terrible in here. I don't think that, the, you know, this is a disaster by any means. And so this particular field has been wide dropped. We already have on 200 units of nitrogen. And I don't believe it's a disaster, but you can start to see it's telling you a story. It's gone through a lot of stress. This corn, several days in a row, or rolled tight, almost turned silver leaves. And so that's been under a lot of stress. Let's just take a look and see what we're looking at here. We'll take and take our knife and we'll go ahead and split one of these plants. Let's take a look inside and see exactly what we have. So on the other side, when we were adding the water each week, we said we had three and almost four that were clean. Here under more stress, this plant has pulled down more. We got one, two clean, three starting to show a lot of evidence, and four is completely piffed out. And you can see the styrofoam just tells us this plant is struggling. It's harder for it. At the same time, we're nervous because we're putting on an ear here. And so we're saying, are we gonna have enough energy to fill this ear out to the best of its ability? So, still a really nice ear. Even if it's the exact same around and 36 long, there's gonna be close, in this case, to 100 bushel difference as I took the kernel counts last night. Now it comes down to saying, as we continue to keep that side with the 360 technology at the band of water in a really good state, our kernel size is gonna get larger. And you start playing with the kernel size numbers, 90,000 kernels, say compared to 80,000 kernels. The less kernels, the higher the yield, things start to really separate. So my hope is that we could have a 90 to 85 thousand kernels per bushel here. Last year we saw where we were irrigating with this type of technology, kernels were 72,000 per bushel. Those numbers start to bump up close to 400 bushel corn.